Hi, I'm Danielle Chauvet with Knitting Nicely, and today we're gonna start our square number two. Yay! So, last time on square number one, you learned how to do knitting and purling, and how to use them both to make a pattern in our double moss stitch. Today, we're gonna learn some more knit and purl stitches, and it's just a simple checkered square. <laughs> Now it looks a little complicated because there's lots of different textures in this one, but it's still just knitting and purling. No special techniques on this one. So the first square that you did, you used four pattern, four row repeats. So you did four different rows and you just repeated those rows over and over again. But on this one, you have a 12 row pattern repeat. You can do it, it's just 12 rows, and you'll just repeat them, those 12 rows, four times, and then you'll repeat a few more rows one more time. Just follow along with the instructions, and you'll do fine. I'll help you along as we go, and we're gonna have lots of fun with this one. Look how cool this looks. <laughs> All right, here we go, I'll meet you in just a minute. Okay, we are ready to start. For this pattern, square number two, we are going to be using 47 stitches. So you'll need to cast on those 47 stitches onto your size 10 knitting needles. You can use circular, like me, that's what I prefer, or you can use straight needles, it doesn't matter. So we've got our 47 stitches. If you don't have those 47 stitches cast on yet, I use the long tail cast on again. You can pause the video and you can go to the link I have in the description to show you how to do a long tail cast on. So now you have your 47 stitches ready to go. We start on the wrong side. So grab your working yarn and let's begin. Okay, so we are, the first thing we're gonna do is like in the first square, we want to make sure that our first stitch is a slip stitch so that we get a nice braid on the edge going up. So the first thing we're gonna do is a slip stitch. We hold the yarn in the front, slip it to the other needle, easy. Next thing we're gonna do is purl five. So we go down through the top of that stitch Wrap it around, purl one, purl two, purl three, purl four, and purl five. Okay, next thing is you've got a little star. If you've got your pattern in front of you, you can see this little star. That means that that's the beginning of the part that we're going to repeat across this row. So this star and then there's a little parentheses and then it says purl one, knit one, two times. Okay, that means we're going to purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. So let's do it. Purl one, knit one. Purl one, Knit one. Okay, the next thing in our pattern says to purl six. So let's do it. Move our stitches up a little bit. Ready to go. Purl six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, the next step in our pattern says to repeat from star. So that's where we go back to that star, and we're gonna repeat that pattern, purl one, knit one, times two, purl six. We're gonna repeat that all the way down our row until we get to the last stitch. Okay, so let's go. Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl, knit, purl, knit, then purl six, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay, sometimes I like to stop and check my work just to make sure that I'm doing it right. The more often you check your work, the less often you'll have to rip it out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna check and see if I'm, I'm at the right stitches that I should be at. So I know my first one was a slip. Then it said to purl five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then it said to purl one, knit one, times two. Purl, knit, purl, knit. Then it said to purl six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then it said to repeat that. Purl, knit, purl, knit. Purl, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! We are at the right place. I always love it when my stitches turn out right. And as I'm checking and I'm counting my stitches, I'm also looking at them to make sure that they are the right kind of stitch. So remember in the first video we learned that these little bumps are purl stitches and these little V's are knit stitches. So as I'm counting, I'm making sure that that is the stitch that I see. So if, it, if I'm supposed to be knitting a, a knit stitch, I make sure that there's a V there. If I'm supposed to be knitting a purl stitch, I make sure it's a bump. Okay, let's continue on our repeat. So now we're gonna do purl one, knit one, times two. Purl, knit, purl, knit, and then another purl six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like we only have enough for one more pattern repeat. So let's do it. Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, and then purl six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is another thing that I love that happens when I have counted all my stitches correctly. I have exactly what it says in the pattern I should have at the end, just one stitch, which on this pattern, we're supposed to purl. So I'll purl that last stitch. Okay, so now it's time to turn our work. And now we're gonna be on the right side. Now, this pattern actually is reversible, so the right side looks pretty much exactly the same as the left side. As you can see, this is the pattern that we are creating right now, this checkered pattern. It's called seated check. These sections are the seated sections. These are the knit sections. These are the purl sections. And as you can see on the reverse, it looks the same. We have seated sections, purl sections, and knitted sections. Okay, so not all not all patterns are double-sided like that. In fact, most knitted patterns have a definite wrong side and a definite right side. But on this one and on the square number one, these are both reversible, so it doesn't really matter which side is showing. All right, we're on row two, so we're gonna do a slip stitch. Slip that first stitch with the yarn in back this time. And now our pattern says to knit five. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll see that those stitches were knit on the other side too. They were actually purled, but when we turn it over, they look like knit stitches. So we just knitted into some knitted stitches. Okay, and then the next thing in our pattern says to purl one, knit one, times two. So, purl, knit, purl, knit. And as you can see, on this part, I was doing the seed stitch. I was knitting into the purls and purling into the knits. And you can see the little pattern there. This was a knit stitch. This is purl. This one's purl. That one's knit. That one's knit, that one's purl. Purl, knit. That gives us this little seed pattern. Okay, and the next part is purl one. <laughs> so let's purl one. Now it says to repeat from star. <clears throat> I'm 
so we go back to the star and we just repeat that section over and over until we get to the end of our row. So here we go. Knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to purl one, knit one twice. Purl, knit, purl, knit and then a purl one. There we go. Now as you can see, we are working on, it looks like we are working on this, this section right here because we're doing knit stitches and we're doing our seed stitches all the way down the row. And you can see that in our pattern. We're doing knit stitches and we're doing seed stitches. Now eventually you could stop counting and just look at what you're doing that's sometimes what I do. And I know that I every time I get to a section where it's knit, I've got five knitted stitches. And then when I get to the seed section, I've got five seeded stitches. See that? Okay, so let's keep on going down that pattern. We're back at the star, we're gonna knit five, and then we're gonna do a purl one knit one, purl one knit one, and then purl. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, and then our seed stitch, stitch section. Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Each part, each se section is five stitches long. Five knits, five seeds, five knits, five seeds. So we're back to the knitted part. One, two, three, four, five, and then our seed stitch section. One, two, three, four, five. And remember, on the seed stitch, st seed stitch section, you're alternating between purls, knit, purl, knit, purl. Okay, so now on our pattern it says um, to repeat it to the last six stitches. Ooh, do we have six stitches left? Yay, we do. And it says to knit those last six stitches. So that's what we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're ready to go to row three. Row three says to repeat row one. So that's easy. Now we're just gonna repeat what we just did in row one. We're gonna slip that first stitch, and then we're gonna purl five, and then we're gonna purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, and purl six, and repeat. Okay, let's do this together. Here we go, slip with this yarn in front, then purl five, one, two, Three, four, five. Now we're doing the seed stitch section. So if we look at our work, we know that we have to do a purl next because there's a knit. There we go. Purl one, knit one. Purl one, knit one. Purl one. And now if we look at our work, we know we're doing a stockinette section. Stockinette just means that you knit on the right side and purl on the wrong side. And since we're on the wrong side, we're gonna purl the next five stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do the next part. It's a seed stitch, so we look at our work. Seed stitch pattern for five stitches. Purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. Now it's a stockinette section. So stockinette, five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, looks like we have enough for some more patterns, so let's keep going. Next section is a seed. One, two, three, four, five. Next section is stockinette. So we're on the wrong side, we're gonna purl it. 
a little here there. Pearl, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, looks like we have enough for one more pattern repeat. So we're gonna do seed stitch, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl. And then we have six stitches left of stockinette. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yay, we finished row three! Now row four is the same as row two. So row two, we did stockinette section, seed stitch section. Stockinette, seed, stockinette, seed. So as you can go, as you um, start getting your more and more work done, you can see your pattern coming out even clearer. And one of the reasons why I teach to, to read your work is so that instead of having to read every single thing on a pattern over and over, every time you do a row, you start to see your work and you can start just doing it instead of reading it on your pattern. It goes a lot faster and it's, it's more of an understanding of your work rather than just following something. Okay, so row four is the same as row two. Row five is the same as row one again. And row six is the same as row two again. So I'm gonna stop the video now and um, when you are done with row six, then we will come back and we will start on row seven. Remember, it's just repeating row one and row two three times. So you've got row one, row two, row one, row two, row one, row two. That's six rows. When you're done with your sixth row, come back to the video and we'll start again. Okay, so I am on the last pattern repeat for row six, which just is repeating row two. So I'm gonna finish that and I'm at the seed stitch part, so I'm going to do a purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and then my last stockinette section. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Hey, so look, we finished our first six rows already. Our pattern is coming out nice. We can see our stockinette. We can see our seed, stockinette, seed. Very nice. Okay, so now we're going to start the next section. So we were working on this part. Now we're gonna move up to the next set of six rows, okay? This set is basically the reverse of the first set. We're gonna start with seed stitch the edge on this side, we'll be starting, oops, gotta turn it over first. <laughs> on this side, we'll be starting with a seed stitch on these first five stitches, and then we'll be switching to knit up here, or stockinette, I should say, up here above this seed stitch. So we get a, a checked pattern of stockinette and seed. Okay, so let's do this. Here's row seven my needle here. Row seven. Row seven says to do a slip stitch at first, of course. We always start with a slip stitch. And then it says to do a knit one, purl one, times two. Okay, so here we go. Gotta slip this first one. Now, when I, I slip, I slip with my yarn in front, but then when I, uh, when I move to the next stitch, the next stitch is gonna be a knit stitch, so I need to move that yarn to the back. Okay, so it's a knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and then it says to knit six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it says to repeat from the star. So knit one, purl one, two times and then knit six again. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. And then knit six. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's do that again. Another repeat. We got a knit, purl, knit, purl, and then six knit. One, two, three, four, five. And we gotta do it one more time. We've got a knit, purl, knit, purl, knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so our pattern says to the last six stitches, let's make sure we have those six stitches left. One, two, three, four, five, six. We do, hooray! Now it says to knit one, purl one, two times, and then knit two, because we'll only have two st uh, stitches left. So knit, purl, knit, purl, and then two stitches of knit one, two. There you go, we finished row seven. Okay, now we're gonna turn our work over. Here's the front of our work again. Well, like I said before, it doesn't really matter on this pattern because it's reversible. Um, the way I tell whether it's um, front or back, because if you set down your work and then you pick it back up again, it's nice to remember which side you're on. Um, if you look at the long tail cast on, you can tell which side is a front side. The little stitches down here are kind of a... Uh, or about half of a braid. They slant one way. That's the front side. And if you flip it over, you can see on this side, there is no slant. It looks like pearl bumps. So that's kind of how I tell. It looks like a pearl bump, and that means it's the, the wrong side. Okay? That, that happens when you do a long tail cast on. You can really tell between the front and the back. Some other cast-ons, it's harder to tell. But with the long tail, you can definitely tell. Okay, we are ready for row eight. And we're gonna slip that first stitch. I'm gonna slip it with the yarn in front. And then since our first stitch is gonna be another knit stitch, we move it to the back. And then we do knit one, purl one, times two. Purl, knit, purl, and then the pattern says to knit one and then purl five. See, so this knit one is the last of our five seed stitch stitches. And then we're gonna purl five for our five stockinette stitch stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna do the seed stitch pattern again. So it's a knit, purl, knit, purl, and then the last one is a knit. So knit, purl, knit, purl. Last one is a knit. And then purl five for our stockinette section. One, two, three, four, five. Repeat that again. We know that the next section is going to be seed because we can see the stockinette down here. So we're ready to do a seed stitch pattern here. So I see a purl bump, that means I knit it. Knit, that means I purl it. Purl, that means I knit it. Knit, that means I purl it. And the last one is a knit. So that's a purl, I need to knit it. And that's the five, section, five stitches for our seed stitch. Okay, let's do the purl for our stockinette. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the seed stitch again. One, two, three, four, five. And then stockinette one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and the last part of our row eight in our pattern says the last six stitches. We have six stitches at the end, that's great. 
and the last six stitches are a uh, seed stitch pattern. So, and we have six stitches, but we always do the last one as a knit since this is the front side. Okay, so seed stitch, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, and then the last one is a knit since it's the front side. Yay, we finished row eight. Now, guess what we're gonna do? We are going to repeat rows seven and eight two more times so that we have a total of six repeats. So seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. A section of six rows. So I'm going to stop the video here and when you're done making your six, pad six rows of this part, um, I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I have one more pattern repeat on that last row, row eight. And let's do that, and then we will talk about what's the next step. Okay, so I've got, um, I'm, I'm about to do my last section of stockinette. So one, two, three, four, five. And then my last section of seeds. One, two, three, four, five. And since this is a right row, right side row, I'll knit that last stitch. Okay, so now we have actually 12 stitches, or st excuse me, 12 rows done on our pattern. And we can easily see our little squares of stockinette and seed. Here's the front of a stockinette, here's the back of a stockinette. And seed stitch looks the same on both sides, so it's always seed. Okay, so now the next step is we are just going to repeat these 12 rows all the way up our entire square. Repeat, 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 until you get to 12 inches. Uh, in my repeat, um, in my gauge, which should be the same as your gauge, if you did your gauge swatch, um, you should end up with four of these repeats. Actually, you would end up with five of them, four more of these, so it would be five total. And then you're going to do rows one through five one more time. And then on row six, you're going to bind off. So you'll actually, you're actually going to do another of this section right here on top of here. If this is the end of your square, this is the end. We already got up to 12 inches or almost 12 inches. Okay. So um, once you get up to, you finish row five, then you're going to bind off. And I will leave a link in the description so that you can learn how to bind off um, properly. And I will make a special video for binding off on this type of square. I hope you had fun knitting this square and I will see you next time. Happy knitting. Okay, congratulations. You just finished square number two. You have learned how to do a seed stitch on this one. Here's your little seed stitch patterns. You've learned how to do stockinette, which is knitting on the front, purling on the back. And in this case, you did knit and purl on front and knit and purl on back. <laughs> um, and because this is a reversible pattern. So you learned how to do a reversible pattern. Square one was a reversible pattern as well, but I don't think we talked about that. Um, and then you also learned how to do a 12 row repeat, which can be a little complicated, but you did it. You finished, now you have your checkered seed stitch, and doesn't it look lovely? So now I've uh, completed row, um, up to row five. I did my first 12 rows here. This section is the first 12 rows. And then in the pattern, it says to repeat rows one through five again. So that's what I've done here. So this is what the top of your square will look like. The rest of it is hanging down this way. This is the top of your square. And when you're done with row five, you're ready to do row six, 
which is binding off while you're doing row six. And I will, um, like I said before, I will drop a link in the description and you can go to that link and find out how to bind off this specific square number two of your knitted patchwork quilt. I hope to see you again next time for square number three. Super exciting. Happy knitting. If you need help knitting your projects, I have special one-on-one -on -one online classes available. You can contact me by leaving a comment on this video or going to Knitting Nicely on Facebook and messaging me there. Don't forget to check out my blog at knittingcoachblog.com and subscribe to this channel so you can get all my videos. See you next time.